Hey everybody, alright so today we're going to be doing an install and upgrade on the generator cart that I turned into a compressor cart. We're going to be putting some of these 10 inch um, solid rubber wheels from Harbor Freight on so please stick around, check out the video and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. So we're going to take the old, the wheels I put on temporarily, oops, they're not old, they're actually brand new. We're going to take these off, we're going to take this rod out, we're going to customize it with this rod. This rod is longer. It's a 5 8 round stock. Probably got slightly bigger, but. Spacer's not going to be needed. Space 
everything away. Put this one on this way. custom cut this too so Milwaukee M12 hammer drill as well as the six inch, four and a half inch to six inch um, breaking grinder. Uh, we're gonna be using this video and some Milwaukee drill bits, twist bits. gonna make the cart a lot wider than it was but I grab one of these rims I put it right here it's two of the eight inch was gonna be a, uh, a little bit bigger than this wheel but um, you know if I put this wheel in the center it's probably half inch on each side bigger. Um, it should make this part easier to move. So if I don't like it, I can always take the rod that came on, came on it and put just the individuals on. So I basically have two custom axles. I have the original axle that would fit these, no problem. And then I have this one. So we'll see how I like it when I get done with it. I might pull the axle out and I might shave it a little shorter, but we need to drill it. So.
go get a marker. You might have to take it off. Or let's shave it down afterwards. Bring you guys right back as soon as I get it set up. All right, back everybody. All right, so I got a device. I already used the punch. I'm gonna put a shrimp lamp on the drill.
like it's almost done. Just doesn't want to break through. take a lot of force to put that in there. Everybody. All right, so I broke, I broke a bit. I broke the the one eighth bit. I got it out of the hole, and I just used the larger bit because I was using two bits anyways, two different sizes to go. Up. One was a step up. Um, I got all the wheels on. The quick pull pins are on, and uh, to be honest. It brings it quite a bit further away from the house. It makes this walkway a lot smaller. Um, and it does kind of look funky. Um, I guess the thought in my head was, it should have stayed in my head to be honest. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna put the older rod back on with just one of each instead of the eight inch. We're gonna put one of each of these on and see how it looks. Um, Cause it, it does look funky. 
you know, it probably would look better if there was the other two were on that end and two were on this end and it was just a constant rolling cart. But uh, it's done. Um, I got all the pins in, washers. But the way I look at it is I already made this axle for this cart. So if I ever actually want to put the dually looking tires on the back again, I could. Um, the other way I'm looking at it is it gives me an opportunity to have a, two spare tires for something else that's needed. Um, it is done though. Yeah, I think it looks goofy. You know, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks weird? You know, if, if I was able to turn the cart around, it wouldn't be so bad if the tires were on that side. But I bolted the compressor on this side. So I'd basically have to flip, unbolt the compressor, I'd have to flip it around, and then I'd have to flip the cart around. And it's, it's a lot of work. You know, the only benefit to flipping it around and doing that would be that the, the orange handle that I just painted would be on this side so it would be easy to move the cart instead of me having to grab this on that side to move it initially. But uh, if you guys think the, the dually looking tires looks good, let me know. If you think it looks goofy as well, let me know down below. Uh, I used the Milwaukee 2504-20 hammer drill, 12 volt. I used the Milwaukee four and a half inch to six inch 2980-20 grinder with a high output 3 CP 3.0 on that. And then there was a, on the M12, there was a XC 4.0. And I used a Shockwave Titanium Impact Duty quarter inch shank uh, drill bits, titanium drill bits. I broke the 1 8 and I just used three in one uh, oil. I used three in one oil as a, a cutting lubricant. And I used a Milwaukee Inks All Black Marker, a pair of Pittsburgh Pro Dykes. I think these are five inch, six inch dykes. And uh, some Harbor Freight 10 inch solid rubber uh, rimmed, uh, metal rimmed wheels. But I appreciate you guys' time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh, and I also use the Lauren Vice. Peace.